Hi, this is Mike, and in a previous video, I showed you how you can add specific conditions to the built-in storyline navigation controls so they'll only work when those conditions are met. You can add all kinds of conditions to your custom navigation triggers, just like we did for those built-in buttons, and that'll always work just fine. What I'd like to show you today is another option to do something similar that uses object states to make sure that a learner has seen all of the content on a slide before they can continue on in the course. This is an example of a simple click and reveal type slide and you'll notice my custom navigation here will not work until after I have actually clicked all of the tabs and seen all of the content. So let's jump over and see how we can make that all work. Let's start by looking at our continue button. By default, anytime you add a button, its initial state is going to be set to normal, which means that it's visible and active for use. But in our case here, we don't want that until after all the tabs have been clicked. So we can change that initial state from normal to disabled. And that means that it will still be visible but it just won't respond to any mouse overs or mouse clicks. You could also, if you prefer, you could make it hidden and the button wouldn't show up at all, but I really like the disabled state that I have formatted so that I know the button's there and I've grayed that out to kind of give a visual indication that it's just not active yet. And now that we've got that taken care of, what we need next is some way to know if all of these tabs have been clicked or not. And fortunately, we've got these set up with a normal and a visited state, and Storyline will automatically change these tabs to the visited state after they're clicked, which makes it easy for us to tell when all of those tabs have been clicked just by evaluating what state they're in. So when all of those tabs are in a visited state, we know that all the content has been displayed, and that is when we want to go ahead and activate our navigation button. So the only thing left for us to do is to create that trigger that will change the state of our continue button. We want to change it to normal, not when the user clicks anything, but when the state of all of our tabs are visited. So when those are all visited, we know that those have all been clicked, the content's been displayed, and that's when we want to switch our navigation button over to normal and enable it so they can continue on through the course. So let's take a look and see what that looks like in action. Here is our course. Continue button is disabled. Now when I access all of these tabs, those are all in the visited state. My button turns to normal and I'm all set to continue on through the course. So there you go, pretty simple. And if you have any questions, just drop us a note in the forums and we'll see you next time.